It's hard to believe it's been so long since the end of the Man in Motion tour, but you know, we've been keeping that dream alive, constantly trying to improve the lives of people with spinal cord injury, and never stopping until one day people have a chance to walk away again. And all the way, I've had an amazing team with me. All we had was a dream and a commitment to make it come true. In 1973, I was a carefree teenager. I had the whole world by the tail. I knew where I wanted to go and how to get there. My whole life revolved around physical activity and the use of my legs. And then one summer afternoon, all that changed. I was in the back of a pickup truck. It crashed, broke my back, and injured my spinal cord. Doctors told me I'd never walk again. They also told me not to have much hope in my life. And as a matter of fact, they really didn't hold much hope for a fulfilled life at all. But fortunately, I was the kind of person who was lucky enough to receive incredible support from doctors, nurses, therapists, from great role models who challenged me and encouraged me not to give up, to pick up the pieces, to set new goals and chase new dreams. I pursued sport, represented my country, and eventually knew that it was my turn to give something back. I decided to try to change attitudes to let people know the kind of potential that's inside all of us if barriers were removed that didn't have to be there. And I also wanted to leave a concrete legacy that would work towards an even bigger dream, to see the day when people with spinal cord injuries could have a chance to walk away again. Well, that's what inspired me to pursue the Man in Motion World Tour, to wheel around the world 40,000 kilometers through 34 countries and four continents. At the end of it, we were very fortunate to have ignited the passions and awareness of people all around the world and to have generated a concrete legacy over $20 million for spinal cord injury. And since the end of that tour, there's been great progress for people with spinal cord injury. Progress in that more people are walking away after an accident or having more levels of recovery. Progress in that people who are living with spinal cord injury are having an even better quality of life progress in the science that gives us real hope that indeed one day it will be possible to have a full recovery after a spinal cord injury. It makes us all realize that as we move forward into the future that our best work is in front of us, that we can make a difference in the lives of others, and that we never forget the power of the dream. When I finished the Man in Motion World Tour, I broke through the banner and I looked behind me and I saw this sign. It said, Welcome Home Rick, and above it it said, The end is just the beginning. Well, indeed, whoever put that sign up had it absolutely correct. That the tour was just one baby step towards the bigger dream, to continue to support people with spinal cord injury to the point where one day people will have a chance to walk away again.